Hello everyone, welcome to Winning Women Wednesday with Lady Renee of Transformation Community Church. Thank you all so much for tuning in today and I pray that all is well with each and every one of you. Well today I just stopped by to encourage us to be doers of God's word, amen, to obey his word. James 1 and 2 it says, but be doers of the word and not hearers only deceiving yourselves. So this passage of scripture is telling us to prove ourselves to be people who um, who put the word of God into practice, right? Um, to prove ourselves to be people who um, obey the word of God, obey his principles, obey the instructions and his precepts, right? Um, that To prove that we're not just listeners of the word of God, we don't just hear his word and fail to internalize the meaning of his word, right? We don't just hear and know his word, but then we fail to obey his word, right? So the last um, few words of this passage of scripture it's interesting because the, it's telling us that um, if we do this, if we hear the word only and not do the word, not apply the word, right, then we are actually just deceiving ourselves. Amen. So it's not the devil that's deceiving you. No, it's you. You deceive yourself. So you hear the word but fail to act on it, but fail to obey the word, right? We always want to blame it on Satan, right? We always want to think it's Satan. Uh, we always want to think it's some um, demonic false teaching, right? Uh, you know, or whatever, the Antichrist or what have you, that's deceiving us. But no, it's just, you know, it's just simple. You know, um, us knowing God's word and failing to obey God's word, the scripture says we deceive ourselves, amen? So we gotta take some ownership on that, right? Uh, so, um, so how can we claim to love Christ, um, but we fail to obey him, right? How can we say that we are um, uh, following Christ, right? We're trying to live our lives and be Christ-like, but we fail to bow our knees. We fail to humble ourselves before his throne of grace, right? We fail to um, commit to his will and obey his word, right? How can we say that? So, you know, James, the Amplified Translation for this passage of Scripture, James 1, 22, I'm going to take it to 24. It says, but prove yourselves doers of the word actively and continually obeying God's precepts and not merely listeners who hear the word but fail to internalize its meaning deluding yourselves by unsound reasoning which is contrary to the truth to the truth of God right so for if anyone who listens to the word without obeying it is like a man who looks at himself in a mirror and he walks away and forget what he looks like amen so um you know let me ask you a few questions oh you know that's concerning the word of God in your life right are you um using God's word as a lamp to your feet right um are you obeying God's word and putting it into practice you know I don't believe that anyone who is um trying to right or 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 who can be a doer of God's word and not be challenged right God's word challenges us amen you know the the scripture says to um we are to pray without ceasing now that can be challenging right because we're busy and caught up in our day-to-day -day, um schedule and what we got to do this that and the third where we got to be and all these things right and um we're not praying right so in the midst of all that our busy schedule we should be praying right it says to pray continually pray without ceasing that is a challenge right also the scripture says that we are to love our neighbors right love those who persecute us right love those who lie on us and hate us and all these things right love our neighbors as ourselves right but that can that's a challenge amen because you know there's some people out there that's going to test you right they're going to try it right <laughs> they're going to try to take you off your game they're going to try to try your patience right they're going to test your your character your integrity and all these things right but the bible also tells us that we have to be long suffering that we have to be patient right we have to be slow to anchor amen quick to listen Amen. 
and slow to be offended and all those things, right? So we have to have some self-control as well, right? So fighting the good um, fight of faith, right? It involves being changed by the word of God and also being challenged by the word of God, right? And I would venture to say, if, you, if there's some people out there to say that God's word doesn't challenge them, right? They're not challenged by, God, by God's word. I would venture to say that been, perhaps you just cherry picking the scripture, right? You just picking and choosing the scripture that makes you feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside, right? You know, the God's promises that make you feel good, right? And so, um, and not, you know, the, the entire word. You got to take up the entire word of God, amen? The ones that make you feel all nice, warm, and fuzzy, and the ones that kind of make you feel a little uncomfortable, you know, challenge you or stretch you, amen? So I just want to encourage us to pray um, and ask God, the Holy Spirit, to help us to obey, to be obedient, to be doers of God's word and not just hearers only because that is not going to serve us any uh, purpose at all. It's not going to do us any good if we just hear it and not do it, not obey it, not put it into practice, right? You can't be mad at God and say, God is not hearing you. God is not showing up. God has left you. God has turned a deaf ear to you. When you don't, when you don't do anything, amen, you got to do something. You got to have some skin in the game as well, amen. So listen, until next time, know that I love you, but God loves you so much more. Be intentional, love on purpose, blessings. Mm -hmm.